My name is Linda Buckmuller, and I am an Allied Health instructor in the Allied Health Department. And the Allied Health Department is a department that helps a student provide education opportunities. They can become a CNA, which is a certified nurse aide. Uh, they can become a CMA, which is a certified medication aide. They can become a certified home health aide which does the initials HHA, as well as the, the uh, department also provides some other courses which support all of those classes. One of the real advantages for high school students to take the home health aid, the nurse aid, the CMA courses while they're in high school is the tuition. It is greatly reduced. Right now, the state has made provisions for the tuition as well as the fees to be covered by high, for high school students. And if you wait until after you graduate from high school to take any of these courses, it can be pretty expensive. So now is the time to do it. If you decide you wanna take the CNA course, it is a five credit hour course, and it's done within seven weeks. All of the information that you will need for this class is online, so there's no books you have to purchase, which is a real advantage. Then uh, there are seven days where you have to have a face-to-face -face meeting with the instructor. So there are three of those are lab days and Four of those days are clinical days, and they must be attended at, on the days that they are, or otherwise you're out of the class. That is just one of the things that we require, and that is what state requires, is that we do this. Now, the CNA class is limited to 10 students at a time because that is the most that the state allows an instructor to supervise when you're on clinicals. At this time, the state has, because of COVID-19, we are not allowed to go into the nursing homes. And so we are doing clinical settings here in the lab. Um, and those provisions have been made and it works well. When we are here in the lab setting with the nurse aid class, we do a variety of things. Um, on the first lab day, we learn about PPE, personal protective equipment and putting gloves on and gowning and the whole bit. And then we also learn about how to reposition residents in bed. <clears throat> we do the mannequins, but then we'll take mannequins out and you reposition each other. Uh, and then we also learn about proper transferring of residents, uh, patients, uh, by using gate belts and how to make it safe for you in your transferring. Then we have day two of lab. We learn about making beds and how to make a bed without somebody in it or how to make a bed with somebody in it. We also learn about feeding each other, about feed, how to feed residents and um, then also oral care. We talk about that and do some of that. And then late in the day, we learn about giving bed baths and you'll be giving the mannequins bed baths. So then on day three of the lab, we talk about personal grooming and that includes shaving and nail care and then the last part of the third day of lab we spend doing vital signs and you learn all about taking temperatures pulses respirations and blood pressures so you're well qualified in all of that by the time you get done with the lab now a little bit about the cma class the certified medication aid class it also is five credit hours and it's also seven weeks long. It is a very intense class. You'll learn a lot about the 
systems in the body and different medications that are associated with those systems. You'll also then, um, when you have the four clinical days, you will put into practice about how you administer medications and some more of the precautions, uh, doing eye drops, ear drops, uh, just a variety of things on how to work with medications and residents, and especially anybody that would have difficulty swallowing whole pills, how, what ones you can crush, what ones you can't, and all of that. Very interesting, very educational, and if you ever think you're going to go into nursing, I would highly recommend that you take it. That's gonna be one step up on the pharmacology basis of it. The other class that I mentioned was the home health aid class. That is only a two credit hour, and it's only two weeks long. And it is fully online. There is no contact. You never have to come on campus for anything. Well, for one thing, it's the dual credit that's available uh, for most high school students that once you, you can, for those five credit hours of nurse aid, five credit hours of the CMA, the two credit hours, you can end up with 12 credit hours. And that's a lot right there uh, for a semester of classes. And then when you do go off to college, you end up with uh, having a lot of college credit already before you even get there. Also, the taking this, well, any of these courses is just a good background in care. Um, whether you want to go into healthcare or not, it makes no difference. Just being able to help someone, whether it's a family member or a friend, if they need some care, that's a, just a good basic course. Then if you are even thinking that you might like to go into healthcare, but don't know exactly where you want to go, this is a good first step. It just helps you to become knowledgeable with some medical terms, some basics on how to take care of people, and so on. Now, if you really know that you want to go into nursing, one of the, this is often a prerequisite for many of the nursing schools in the state of Kansas. So get it over and done with, and then you will be heads up when you are ready to make your application for the nursing program of your choice. My name is Diana Mitzner. I'm director of nursing here at uh... Community College. Uh, through PCC, we or, uh, we start at uh, again at the LPNs. The LPNs can sit and get a cert certification to practice as an LPN. Uh, once you complete that, you can either stop there because we are known as a one plus one program. You can stop uh, you can stop there and go on and practice as an LPN. If you want to continue further, you can reapply and. Uh, reapply for the ADN program and of course you do have to have your LPN and move forward and then you go through the L or ADN program and to in order to obtain your RN and then once you complete that which is another fall and spring semester then you can sit and uh, sit for your RN boards and take the RN NCLEX and uh, hopefully pass it and uh, then have your RN license and move forward. Okay, so for the first year students, and we're talking like the PN courses, uh, they're going to start out with the foundations. This is getting to know uh, the basics, learning how to do a physical assessment, learning how to do vital signs, getting to learn uh, medications. So, and medications are, are really, it's pharmacology, and it's a, that's a really tough uh, course to learn. So, uh, but spending a lot of time uh, learning to do that, uh, again, dedication, lots of studying. Uh, the courses aren't difficult, it's just you've got to put the study time in. So it's, it's the basics, it's the found, as 
uh, as the course says, it's just the foundations getting to learn that. And then as you go up into each course, you start what we call leveling. You build upon each course to move forward. And at the end of the, uh, you go to the fall courses, and then you go into the spring courses, and at the end of the spring course, you, it prepares you to get ready to sit for your, take your P in NCLEX, which is an exam in order to become certified to practice as an LPN. We tell them what they can expect when they uh, first start on uh, orientation day. Uh, of course, we give them all the information that they're going to need. We give them their clinical schedule. They, we give them their, uh, which is going to involve their skills days, which for the first few weeks is going to start out on a Monday and Tuesday. And it usually runs from about 8.30 to 4.30 for two days in a row. They're going to learn in their skills how to insert catheters. They're going to how to insert uh, NG tubes, tubes that goes in their nose down into their stomach. They're going to have to learn how to do that. They're going to learn how to start IVs. They're going to learn how to draw up medications. They're going to learn how to give shots, whether they're IM or doing TB shots. They're going to have to learn how to uh, do dose calculations, so which is involves math, which is a new advanced math. Uh, once they learn, they go through and learn all that. Uh, then they're going to learn uh, about um, the clinical facilities that they're going to be going to because they're divided up into three different groups. Uh, they will learn about their theory classes, which are on uh, Wednesdays and Thursdays. They will get their schedules for where they're going to be going. They're going to uh, learn um, all the readings. They're going to get a calendar for the whole semester. So they will know what days they're going to have classes, what days they're going to have their skills, what days their exams are going to be on. We also take them around. Uh, we show them the classroom. We show them uh, the monitors. Because some of the classes, uh, we do Zoom. We do have a Winfield campus, so we do Zoom as well with those campuses because there are other students on another campus. So we show them how that's used. Uh, we also take them and tour in our skills lab. We do have a skills lab. We do simulation on some of our skills day. So they get to practice on uh, the mannequins. A lot of them are, uh, you know, well, what if our uh, skills days or our clinical days uh, are, how do you work around our, you know, how does it work around our work schedules? Well, a lot of them don't like to hear, but we can't work around their work schedule. They're going to have to learn to work around uh, the school schedule. The other thing is that we tell them to be prepared to live, eat, and drink nursing school because it's going to be very time consuming. It is a full-time commitment. It's just like another job. So to be sure that they are going to be prepared to be very busy. A lot of it has to do with uh, their general education classes. Uh, their microbiology and their anatomy physiology uh, needs to be within the last five years. And then, of course, they have to have their English, uh, English course. They have to have a, a developmental psychology and then also a general psychology classes. Uh, those have to be done. Uh, they do have to go through this special admissions course with Elise Birdsong. She's our special admissions for the nursing program, and uh, she sits with them, and she goes through them and does some advising with them and tells them what courses and so forth they need. They need to have all those done. That's all on our website. Uh, get those forms filled out. They'll have to take a T's test. Um, everything is on our website that they need to do to uh, prepare themselves to be enrolled. And then, of course, we go through a selection process. PCC has a lot to offer here. The instructors here are very, uh, very good. We have some, uh, the instructors, starting out with the LPN instructors, um, Amy Giefer is, um, she's a graduate from here. She knows the program. So, and she knows how to teach. She's very innovative in her teaching. She not only just, uh, She's not your typical instructor that just reads the PowerPoints and makes you read. She's very, she does what we call flipping the classroom. 
she does the case study, she does, makes the assignments more interesting. So, but she's also very, she makes, she makes it interesting and wants you to learn. So that's what's good about that classroom. She makes it interesting, so you end up learning. Her success rate so far this past year, she's had a 100% pass rate with her in classes. So, um, and the students coming up, she has done an excellent job. Very proud of her. Our RN students, um, we have a lot to offer for our RN students as well. We have the option of, you can either go to Pratt, and the LPNs, I should say, are you have the option of coming here to Pratt, or you have the option of going to Winfield. So you've got the convenience there of wherever you're located. The RN students, we have where you can go to Pratt campus, you can go to the Winfield campus, or you can do it online as a hybrid class. You do have to come to the sites that we have for clinicals. We have excellent instructors. Christy, who works over in uh, the Winfield campus, excellent instructor. She's innovative too. She likes to do the case study. She likes to flip the classroom. Uh, she puts, has great uh, case studies. We use ATI, which is an excellent, and it's almost hand in hand with what our NCLEX exams show. So she's a big proponent of that. Uh, Anna, who was here on the Pratt campus, same thing. She does the case studies and everything. The instructors here, they're all about wanting the student to learn and they are here. They are here to support the students and myself, I am all about the student. My goal is for these students to be successful. We want good nurses out there. We need good nurses out there. We have excellent skills labs here um, and we're, you know, we're here to support students. We want, like I said, we want them to learn. You students have a lot of decisions that you have to make. And whether you go into healthcare or not, the thing that I hope for you is that you will work in whatever you do, that you will work at making a personal difference in somebody's life, whoever that is. Thank you very much.